Hello, welcome to another vlog. I'm sorry it's not on a Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, but it is on a Wednesday at 10 a.m. So, lovely to see you again. Um, I had the most brilliant birthday week. I kicked it off in London and saw both my brothers. I hope you find it interesting. My brother Dave, who you know so well by now, sent me the most hilarious video on my birthday of him chasing geese around Hyde Park. I, I think you'll enjoy that. And then once we get through the birthday week, it's only a few highlights. I really wanted to enjoy myself and not stick my camera in everyone's face all the time. But I basically had a brilliant few days in London. I also discover a new vintage pre-loved shop in London. Oh my God, it was so packed like an Aladdin's cave that I could barely move around and I had a great big handbag. Sadly, I didn't go back and didn't buy anything. Well, not sadly, that's good, good. But um, absolutely brilliant. I'm sure you will enjoy that. I'm also going to share with you a few freebies that I got that I think would make excellent Christmas presents, things that I truly love. So keep going to the end. It's all birthday, 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 out in London. You'll love the London bits anyway. Um, there's Jack right at the end. Um, my brothers, as I mentioned. Uh, but also keep going to the end because I'm going to show you what I think will make really, really good Christmas prezzies. now starts my exciting few days in London town. But anyway, it's very cold at the moment, so I've got my big boots, which I shall bling up for the theatre. These are my biker pants from Sweaty Betty that are ancient. What's that? That's a bit messy looking, isn't it? Um, and this gorgeous shirt that I got down the road in Oxford Street last time, or maybe a few times before, um, on my last visit from, can't remember, really cheap. It was really cheap. How expensive does it look? Anyway, I'll put everything below. But first, I wanted to show you, because um, I'm in my favourite, favourite hotel as a birthday treat, um, lovely manager, sorry, lovely managing director, I should say, Doris has upgraded us because Dahlia's coming tomorrow. So we have a queen bed each and we have gorgeous snacky poos. But most exciting for me, I've never been on the sixth floor before. Look at that view. So what landmarks? You can just see the top of the shard. And that's where I was last time. Do you remember? And I took a a shot of being of this hotel from over there. So this is weird. I'm now over there, over here, looking over here. And there's the British Telecom Tower. Look so, who's here. I sound like um, Eminem. Look who's <laughs> here. Da, da, da. Oh God, you look like dad. Put your head down. You look really, it's the lighting. It's awful. Well, there's a the, bloody light yes, right Dave's about me. Oh, That's best. So you look like Dave now, or not like dad. <laughs> My brother's here. Have you anything to say? I'm going to show them. He sent me a video. It's a bit out of focus, but it's very funny. So we're going to show that now. This was for my birthday. Yes, this Dave is our is Thanksgiving uh, gift for um, Susie and myself, what we're eating for Thanksgiving. No, I'm not eating it. Yes, you will. No, I'm not. Yes, I don't eat just... animals. Well, I eat animals as rarely as possible. Well, it's organic and they flew over <laughs> me, so it's, the male's going to have to die. It's the end You're... of that. That's Jack. We're eating Jack for. Save there are vegans watching. Please excuse my brother. It is his very warped sense it's of humour. It's a joke. Well, good morning, everyone. This is the Susie special blog day. Happy birthday, Susie. And I've got a couple of friends here, Susie, who want to say hello to you and wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, anyway, I haven't named them yet, but this is Jack. And the other one's called Shushka. 
and they followed me here. They flew over me and landed. And as you can see, they're running away from me because they think I'm going to cook them for Thanksgiving. And they'll probably be very tasty too. Come on then. Come here. Oh, that one's making very odd noises. Uh, he's not happy. Now you're going to meet the other brother. Now, before I embarrass him, he is slightly a different colour because he is our brother by another mother. So please don't write in and say, why is your brother black? Why is your brother mixed race? He is our brother by another mother. From one brother, we are now in my other brother's room. Kareem, say hello to... Hello, hello everyone. Now, especially those in America, because Kareem is American. That's right, the one and only. How are you doing, darling? I'm lovely. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Loving seeing my brother. After how long? Uh, too long. Too long. Too many years. Three? At least. At least three years. Christmas decorations for you before I forget. London is, oh, well, it's just heaving again at night. They're the two brothers. Ah, I got you. Look how, <laughs> look how busy it is. So busy. So busy, nine o'clock at night. Where are they all going? Christmas shopping. Are the shops open? Some of them are. I'm just going to stand here while they all pop, pour past me. <laughs> Look what I found. A designer pre-loved. And here is the lovely, I can't pronounce it. My name is Lafayette. I am the owner of the Catwalk Designer. So, and this is called Catwalk, Catwalk Designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've never come across before and we're in Blandford Street. Yes, yes. W1. Yes. So I just show you a quick look. I haven't, I'm not supposed to be looking now because I know my friend tomorrow who I'm meeting for lunch will want to come in. But just to get, it's like I just opened the door. Let me show you. Look at all the shoesies. Mm -hmm. And I just opened the door and went, oh, wow, look, Gucci. They're all Gucci. Chanel. Unbelievable. Thank you. Oh, my God. And he so agrees with me that it's better now because not only do Washed people... You know? Oh, I like that. <laughs> not only do people want to save money, but they want to save the planet. <laughs> It's fantastic. fantastic. So you're are you busier now because yeah, people yeah, care yeah, about yeah, the planet? Gucci. Gu I looked at that one. I wish I liked sweaters more. <laughs> anyway, you know me, guys and girls. I'm bound to come back and have something else. Yeah. <laughs> Get squash something else into my suitcase. I have found a couple of summer tops, but I can't buy summer now. My top tip always is go to a really smart area for your pre-loved. Think of all the rich bitches who've dropped their things in. No longer want them. That's nice. Oh, lovely, a bus. And look who's here. Your favourite. Hi, Darling. Oh, God, there she goes. Tell we've just, them. We've just been to see Wicked and we're not sure about it, are we, Susie? I'm sure. I hated it. Yeah. <laughs> hated the music. Loved the design, the set design. Very well, and the and the voices of the Wicked Witch. Oh, but the, I hated the music. I'm very fussy about my music. In future, I'm not going to musicals unless I listen to the music first. Tell them where we are and how excited we are. I've forgotten. <laughs> it's the Chiltern so, Firehouse, which I photographed. I've been dying to get here for years. We've been dying to come for years. I was supposed to be here with a, another very old friend, but she's got some migraine, and Dahlia's never been either. So I'm making her stay longer. We've been shopping, and now we're eating mm. at the Chiltern What's it called? Chilton Firehouse, which is terribly famous and full of celebrities, apparently. So I will have to do a pan. I'll have to do a pan very quickly and briefly 
in case there are important people here. How beautiful is that? It's very green, isn't it? Well, I can film in here because the ladies is empty, but can you see the whole firehouse? This used to be full of fire trucks. The whole fire um, house colours came from. What am I wittering about? I should show you my outfit, shouldn't I, before anyone comes in. It decided to tell me I had a low battery. So should I show you my outfit? You can't really see, but I've got my tinted red specs on. The new top, did you see this from Ted Baker? I better wear it for my next piece of camera so you can see it. I absolutely love it because it's gorgeous colours and my black sweaty Betty very old pants and my new trainers with the stars on. Oh, wrong side with the stars on. I'll do this in better light another day. So this is the top I was showing you in the restaurant. Right, there you go. I've got a new camera, a 13 Pro. I do believe it might have more depth. Look, look. I don't have to go so far back. Anyway, it's the same blue smart view shoes. I've just been for a dog walk, so I made a bit of an effort because I was in the village visiting people. But this is the top I got from Ted Baker. I think it looks much better with my vintage jeans because it's got a bit of a vintage vibe, hasn't it? Um, and the jeans, as you know, are a bit of a vintage vibe. And I don't think it looks so good hanging down over my black trousers. So I hope you like. That was only one of many outfits I wore in London. I will share the others. Well, the others you've seen, actually, there's not much point showing you those, apart from my new black dress. I will share that with you before Christmas. So this is the Christmas present ideas at the end of the vlog, which I hope you'll find really useful. So keep watching. I will tell you all about this a little bit later. Sorry about the glasses if they glare. I have to have the ring light on because it's really dark outside. Um, my hair's just been washed, but I've still managed to quiff, so that's all good. And I'm wearing the red glasses because I rarely wear black next to my neck, but because this has got this gorgeous glitter, look at these, this lovely, oh no, you can't. Look at this lovely detail. Oh, glittery. Um, I thought the glasses offset beautifully like they did with the gray and black check dress. So that's my new secret weapon. Bright glasses with dark clothes. So on with my Christmas presents ideas. So the first one, young lady in London's just started this. So I really want to give her my support because this is brilliant. It's called Pocket. I'll put all the details below as I always do, including any discounts where applicable. But this I took to London because it's to trial it. Um, and I would buy this. It's basically a three-in-one brush set. So the first one, I've, I'm already made up, but this is how I would do my foundation. You know, my favourite one is It Cosmetics because it actually looks after your skin and improves it. Anyway, imagine that I'm putting that on and sorry to end and, and it covers my skin beautifully. This is the blusher brush. lovely and this is unusual i was hoping for an eye makeup one but i never wear eye makeup actually apart from liner um and this is for concealer and under eye stuff so i think that's incredibly cool and i used each one while i was away and had perfect makeup so thank you pocket really happy with that Secondly, now this is a shameless plug, I have to apologise, but it's a perfect stocking filler. If you haven't got my book already, this is the updated version of Alternative Ageing. I think it's only three or four years old. Um, so it's pretty up to date, lots of new stuff on intermittent fasting, fasting, 5-2, you know, everything that you want to know. I think it's still pretty much up to date and lots of tips on how to use 
ingredients from your kitchen cupboards to use on your face and so lots of things that are really cheap to do lots of alternatives and I think you'll find it really useful for you or your a relative or your mum if you're a youngster watching um but I think this is brilliant for Christmas and it's on the, actually if you're in America or Australia or Canada just look on Amazon Amazon all over the world seems to be stocking this. I'll put the link for the UK one below, um, but I'm sure you'll be able to find it. I would offer to post you uh, signed ones, but it's going to be too much trouble um, with the post office the way it is at the moment. It's like that all over the world. Great big delays. I'm buying all my stamps today. I'm, I'm avoiding posting anything as we get closer to the holiday. Um, so I can't really do that. I'm really sorry. But what I can do, if you really, really want to give it to someone as a present, I can write something personally to them on a card. Cards I can post easily because I'll have loads of stamps. So if you're in the UK, I can do that as well. Hope that helps. So shameless plug over. Now back to this gorgeous shirt. Now this is from Lily Silk. I'm sure you know about Lily Silk. Um, beautiful, beautiful silk, very ecologically produced, it's, uh, eco sourcing, zero waste. I'm just checking that I've got everything here. All natural, natural fibers. Um, and they gifted me this and a couple of other things to pass on to you because this is a big Christmas present. You know, silk is not cheap. Um, as I said, all the links below, but they are offering, how much is it? 12% discount. So that all helps. But how gorgeous is that? That's this. Now, although I don't wear much black, it does look terribly smart, doesn't it? I definitely wear this in London. I'm not sure I'd wear it with any of the normal black trousers I wear, but with that net skirt, you know the one, and a big belt, it would be like a different version of a little black dress. I might try that on my next trip to the theatre or just with trousers. Anyway, you'll see. Um, so I love this and it's beautifully made. Look, the little buttons are all covered properly. So there's no gaping. It's um, very good quality. Thank you, Lily Silk. I love this. Um, secondly, uh, now again, this is probably a separate video but silk pillowcases are my absolute skin saviour. I couldn't understand why I was looking far more wrinkled in the morning. And when I came to change my normal pillow today, I realised the lady who helps out in the house had put an ordinary cotton pillowcase on my pillow. So no wonder. Um, it's very difficult for you to see, but take it from me. Oh just gorgeous they sort of regulate your whoops sorry regulate your temperature better your body temperature especially if you've got hot flushes um but also it doesn't crease your face as much it's just far better for your skin and um what I, oh your hair your hair isn't as frizzy it's just much more natural and better for your skin i'm sure you know about that and they do sleep masks and all sorts of little things. So some stocking filler ideas there, or maybe a couple of pillowcases. They come beautifully, I sound like an advert now, I do apologize, beautifully boxed. So very thrilled with those. Is there anything I've missed out? Uh, hydrating, yes, it's more hydrating. Oh, and good for allergies to have a pure silk pillowcase. So I think that's a really nifty, nifty Christmas present. Only one more product from Lily Silk to show you. I asked for all of these because they're things I would actually buy myself because they're so beautiful. So, oh dear, I know there are men watching. There's some stripping coming up, but I have to show you this bra because they're making, now you know I'm very fond of, let's hide the tummy, very fond of um, wireless, Fasteningless, how do you say that? This is an all in one, one size silk bra. Let me get closer so you can see it. I, hope this, I hate that sticking out bit, don't you? But it's beautiful, it's one size. And it, oh, let's show you the back. And it fits like a glove. 
So that could be something you buy for yourself or any men watching, get one for your girlfriend because we don't like fastenings and underwiring, do we girls? And I have to say the support is great. I jumped on my trampoline in this. Right, that's enough of a plug for Lily Silk over. Um, sorry, it sounded like an advert, but you know me well enough to know it's not a paid collaboration. I would tell you if it was, I only share gifted items that I've trialed, that I love, that I would buy anywhere, anywhere, any way, that I would buy any way, um, and that I believe in and supporting small brands. So it's all very important to me and I hope you don't mind. And look, I've got a card from the lovely Emma. Thank you for our little swapsy. No, I'm very happy with it. Right, next, final top tip. And hopefully I'll squeeze a few more um, into this before Christmas as well. But, oh, Jack's up. Um, Emma and I became mates via YouTube and Instagram. So it just shows what a lovely community this is. We are now firm friends. Thank you, Emma. I will do a card for you. Look at your lovely envelope. Um, and she and I, do you remember when I showed you, right, I have to dig around my clothes now. Do you remember when I showed you this and I said, um, I think she sent me a message saying, oh yes, sorry, she was the Lucy Dodwell um, pants girl. She was the one who tipped me off about um, Lucy Dodwell and I've bought one in every bloody colour now. So Emma's a star. But anyway, she loved this because of the peonies. And we got talking on Instagram. I hardly ever wear it. And we decided to do a swap. So I'm going to go really big on Instagram soon, um, encouraging people to save the planet. Upcycle, swap, upcycle, swap. This is brand new from Adidas. Emma, you're worse than me. No, you're not. You're as bad as me. Um, look at it. I love it. And this, it's much bigger than my other one, but that's all right. Does it look too big? No. I love it. It's very me, isn't it? So thank you, Emma. I'm going to finish my piece to camera. I love it. But they're both very thin. But look, I get an Adidas. I think that's a very... I'm going to have to send you something else. Emma, because um, uh, you must have spent far more on this than I did on that. Yeah, I think mine's slightly thinner. Anyway, they're definitely summer jackets, but these are so my colours. So that's what we're going to do more of. I've got my rings on. I'm going to do more of that, girls, more swapsies. Now, anything else I want to say to you? No? Done that, done that, told you about that. Um, right, all that it leaves me to say then is thank you for your continued support. Now, I met a, a lady on here. Hello, I've forgotten your name. Was it Caroline? In that beautiful pre-loved shop in Hove. I managed not to buy anything this time. I just took coats in, ran out. Um, but she told me she was watching, but she didn't know that I'm not doing every single Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. So please, all of you, if you haven't already, please ring the bell right at the end, subscribe, and then you will be alerted as soon as I put something up. But actually, do you know, I'm going to aim for Sundays or Wednesdays, or neither if I really need a big rest like over Christmas. But always keep an eye out, 10 o'clock Sunday, 10 o'clock Wednesday. I'll try and do on either days. How's that? Not too confusing? Bless you. I'm doing this on a Sunday afternoon, which just goes to show how much I need that extra time. So thank you for your loyalty and support and all your comments. And all it takes me to say is, Jack's had his 15th birthday this weekend and he's had a wonderful time. Uh, and I know you have, will have already, uh, some of you have done loads on Instagram, but thank you for all the birthday wishes. He's doing so well for 15 years old. So I'm just going to end with a few shots of Jack in his element on his birthday. See you soon. Come, look how he runs if I hold my arms out because he's deaf. Jack, look, look, that's it. Come, come. Look how lively he is. 15. As you watch this, 
he will have just got to 15. Apart from being deaf and incontinent at night, he is a bundle of joy and health. And now there's a great big truck coming up. What's it doing in the woods? Jack's girlfriend that wants to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. 